Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on number 47 of our GMAT math review. I will leave a book, or I'm sorry, a link to the book in the description in case you need it. So this question says, in a horticultural experiment, 200 seeds were planted in plot 1 and 300 were planted in plot 2. If 57% of the seeds in plot 1 germinated and 42% of the seeds in plot 2 germinated, what percent of the total number of planted seeds germinated? So I'm going to go ahead and underline some key information so that we can see the two different numbers for each plot. So here we have 200, oops, I wanted to use blue. Let me redo that. All right, so we have 200 seeds total in plot one, and we have 57% that germinated. Now we have 300 total in plot two, and we have 42% that germinated. So now we need to figure out what percent of the total number germinated. So our total number of seeds is going to be this 200 plus this 300. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in purple. So our total seeds equals, sorry about my poor handwriting, 200 plus 300, equals 500. So now we have to figure out how many germinated. So from plot one, let's figure out how many germinated. So we had 200 seeds and 57% germinated. So we are gonna go ahead and multiply 200 by 0.57. So I learned a shortcut that I'm gonna show you guys to do this. So anytime you have zeros on a number, you can write them off to the side like that and just bring them straight down and then go ahead and multiply as you normally would. So you can almost just kind of forget about those zeros and just add them to the end. So from here we have 2 times 7 which is 14, 2 times 5 which is 10, we add 1 to get 11. Now we have to move our decimal place, or I'm sorry, our decimal point 2 to the left. So now we know that we have 114 and that's from plot 1, so I'm going to underline that in blue. Now let's do the same thing for plot two. So this time we have 42%, so we're gonna multiply 0.42 by 300. So again, I'm just gonna bring these zeros down. Three times two is six, three times four is 12, and I'm gonna move my decimal point two places to the left. So this here is our total number that germinated from plot two. Now, to get the total number of germinated out of the initial 500 seeds, we're going to add those two numbers. So if we have 114 plus 126 for 240. So now we are left with 240 out of 500. I'm going to, actually I can write it here, 240 out of 500. So now what we have to do is turn this into a percent. So the first way you could do this is you could just divide those two numbers, get a decimal, and then convert to a percent. I personally see a shortcut here, so I'm going to do it that way. Um, but if it confuses you at all, just feel free to just divide them and just again, just convert from a decimal to a percentage. So what I notice is that first of all, I can cancel these zeros out just as if I were to be simplifying a fraction. Then I'm left with 24 out of 50. So if you remember, percent literally means per 100. So if I were to just take this 24 out of 50 and multiply by two, I get 48 out of 100. And this actually gives me the percent. 48 out of 100 is 48%. So that is actually our answer, and if we look over, it's answer choice C here. If I were to divide 240 by 500, I would do something like this. And since I already know that it's, it's 48, I know that I would end up getting 0.48. And then, of course, when you have a decimal to convert to a percent, you just move the decimal 2 to the right. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, again, with word problems, it's always important to read the problem very carefully. Make sure you separate all of your information. In this case, you have two different plots, so it's important to remember which one's for plot one, which one's for plot two, um, and remember how to convert from a decimal to a percentage. 
So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel and liked the video. And good luck with your studies. Thanks for watching.